Hey all, and welcome to Tech Fact Friday. This week, we thought we would do a little bit of a throwback to the first subject of Tech Fact Friday and record the segment we did on Ada King, the Countess of Lovelace. We first introduced Tech Fact Fridays in non-video form, but soon decided to change to a more dynamic and entertaining format. So today, we're going to revisit Ada King, more commonly known as Ada Lovelace, the person who is regarded as the first computer programmer. Born in 1815, Ada was raised unusually for a girl at the time by receiving an education in math and science at her mother's insistence. Ada had a passion for math and machines and was thus introduced to Charles Babbage and the idea of the analytical engine. Several years into their friendship, Babbage gave a lecture on the concept of the analytical engine. Notes taken during the lecture were not only translated from French by Ada, but she took an extra step and corrected errors and added additional notes. These additions made her translation three times the length of the original notes. Impressed, Babbage requested she further expound on these writings. While writing instructions to get the machine to solve various complex numerical formulas, she realized it could be configured to also manipulate symbols, taking on more complex calculations and could eventually be built to solve problems it had not been pre-configured to answer. Ada beautifully described it with the quote, The analytical engine weaves algebraic patterns, just as the jacquard loom weaves flowers and leaves. It's these writings of programs for the unbuilt analytical machine that she is known for, and has also earned her the title of the first computer programmer, since she essentially described an algorithm and the function of the machine repeating instructions over and over, or a loop, that is still used by programmers today. She completed these works at the age of 28 in 1844. Sadly, Ada didn't get to work alongside Babbage for long, as she died at 36 from cancer. Because the analytical machine was never built, her code of the machine went relatively unknown until the 1940s, when Alan Turing rediscovered her writing, and even wrote a rebuttal to her opinion on machines eventually being able to think like people. An early postulation on artificial intelligence. That's all we have time for today. Leave a comment and let us know what you would like to have us cover next. Remember to share, like, and follow for more content like this. Until next time, it's time for an upgrade, a technical upgrade.